Video Productions from the Finalgate.com. Hey, Kenny B here. Finalgate.com. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna do my video outside. It's uh it's hot out though. It's supposed to be like 95 degrees today. But it's pleasant here in the shade. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do my message here from outside. I'm gonna be reading out of uh, Matthew. Chapter 7, verse 21 through 23. And I'm going to be reading out of Luke, chapter 13, verse 22 through 30. Here we go. Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, Jesus is talking, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Another word for lawlessness is anarchy, uh, chaos, mayhem evil now Luke chapter 13 there's a similar story it's not exact but it's similar verse 22 and he went through the cities and villages teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem then one said to him Lord are there few who are saved and he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, Jesus, I do not know you, comma, where you are from, comma. Then you will begin to say, well, we ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know you. Where are you? Where are, where you are, are you from? Where you are from? Depart from me all you workers of iniquity immorality uh evil wickedness again that's saying basically the same thing lawlessness you know evil you know sexual immorality all that stuff i'm gonna go back up to matthew verse 7 and read uh prior to that verse 21 in verse 13 he says enter by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Ooh, man. <laughs> that's that's some scripture right there. And and I mean it's like wow. How can somebody who has prophesied in the name of Jesus not know Jesus? How can somebody cast out demons and not know Jesus? How can somebody do all the works of the Lord and not know Jesus? How is that possible? Well, actually, here, here, here's my assessment on it. The problem is they prophesied or they believed they prophesied in the name of Jesus, but they did. They wasn't really prophesying in the name of Jesus. They believed they were casting out demons, but they were not casting out demons in the name of Jesus. They really wasn't. They believed they were. They were not doing, the works they were doing was not Jesus. It was them. It was, it was me and you 
who are who, who sometimes get caught up in what we're doing that we don't realize that we're actually not doing the will of God. We're doing our will. But we're using it. We're, we're, we're going to church and we're going through all the motions, but we're just doing our will. We're doing what we want to do. See, whatever that may be. You may be, you may be thinking you're casting out demons, but you're not. Because you don't have the power of God in you. And he don't know us. See? But we believe it. And so that's got to be that type of people that's going to be standing there and say, but, but we did this, but we did that. Hey, but I did this, we did that. What are you talking about? I can't come in. He said, I never knew you. Wow. Whew, that's something we need to check at the door, right? Well, what, what makes the difference? If we look back at verse 21, he says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But, it says comma, but he who does the will of my Father. Now that's it. That's the separation right there. The, the ones out here that are going to do the will of the Father that will not be practicing sexual immorality. We're not going to be practicing sorcery. We're not going to be practicing hatred and anger and bitterness. See, we're not going to be producing the fruits of the unclean spirits. We're going to be producing good fruits from God. And we're going to know in our spirit, in the Holy Spirit, we're going to have confirmation that what we're doing is true. See, if you're claiming that you're working for the Lord and you're doing something in the name of Jesus, but you're practicing sexual immorality, there's something wrong there. Look, I'm not judging people. I'm just I'm, I'm just teaching the word here. He said the, those who practice lawlessness, those who practice iniquity. That's what he said. That's what he told them. That's what you were. You were doing those things. How could you be doing things in my name? That's what he's saying. And that, that's true for us today. You know what I mean? We got we got to stay on top of our relationship with Jesus and our our Holy Spirit. See, we got to keep in touch with God. We got to read the Word of God for ourselves. You got to read it for yourself. Read it and try to interpret it for yourself. Listen, I appreciate you watching my videos. I really do. But listen, don't take my word for it. <laughs> listen, I'm just old sinner saved by grace. You know. I, I'm not anything special, but I do I do strive to try to do the will of God and, and do everything I can to stand up for God and speak out and then speak out against things that, that people are doing against God. Hey, let me share a little bit more with you here on something. Jesus, his blood was pure, pure blood. There was no sin in the blood of Jesus. And I'm, and I'm going to explain to you why that is. And it was necessary for Jesus to die on the cross and to shed his blood. It had to be pure, sinless blood. It was the blood for, of God that was shed. It had to be a, a lamb, an innocent lamb that was no sin. Okay? Okay. Anybody out there that's trying to make Jesus out to be some kind of sinner or make him out that he made love with, with Mary Magdalene, man, I'm going to tell you something. You better check yourself at the door because I got news for you. His blood wouldn't mean anything if, if Jesus would have mingled in man. And I'm going to tell you why right here. His blood was pure, and I'm going to tell you why it is. Well, you say, well, it's not in the Bible. Where you show me that in the Bible? I don't have to show you in the Bible. I can show you, I can, I can, I can, I can base it on science and medical science of our day. I can base it on that. Did you know that the blood flow in a newborn baby follows this pathway? The oxygen and nutrients from the mother's blood is transferred across into the to the fetus through the umbilical cord. So the mother's blood is not really being the transfusion of her blood is not flowing through that baby. In other words, her heart's not pumping blood through that baby and pumping it back out. 
That's not that's not what's happening. Her blood is only providing oxygen and nutrients. Did you know that a fetus will start to produce its own blood at three weeks? In the third week. You ever read in scripture where the Bible says not to eat uh, an animal with you know the blood still there because it's the lifeblood of that animal and they'd be a, you'd be held accountable for it well think about this after three weeks a, a baby an unborn baby is producing its own blood see again it's not coming from the mother she's only providing oxygen and nutrients at five weeks the heart forms and that baby starts pumping his own blood. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, that baby starts pumping his own blood at five weeks. His heart is pumping his own blood. His own life blood. Now, what is this all about? Mary conceived Jesus from the Holy Spirit, not from a man. And Mary was most likely around the age of 13 or 14 years old. Why do you know that? It ain't in the Bible. Well, yeah. It's the first time she ever produced an egg. Do you think God would use second best? You think God would use the third, fourth, or fifth egg from Mary? No way, man. Come on. It was the first egg. Now, I don't know a whole lot about biology, and I ain't no woman. But I understand what they call a period, okay? So it was the first time Mary, you know, was about to have her period or at least produce the egg. The first egg that she produced actually became Jesus Christ, okay? So the blood in Jesus didn't come from a man. So his blood is sinless. It's pure blood, pure God blood. <laughs> That's why it was so important for Jesus to be born through a Virgin Mary. So his blood would be pure. So when he gave his blood as a sacrificial uh, lamb on the cross, it was innocent, pure, sinless blood. And so God accepted that as a ransom for our sins, for me and you, for the ugliness and the evil and the crap and stuff we do. God sacrificed his own son to give that blood. Now, the beauty is Christ rose from the dead three days later and he's at the right hand of the Father and he's on his throne and he will be the king and he is the king. Okay, he is the Alpha and Omega. He's the first and the last. Okay, he is the bright morning star. Listen, <clears throat> The gate is narrow. I, sometimes I look at our world and I look at our country and, and I look and I say, how does people even see a gate? How, can, I mean, how could God love us that much? You know, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. But listen, you can know who Jesus is. Uh, you can go to my website, thefinalgate.com. There's a link uh, called Salvation at the top of that page and uh, you can go through that and uh, just follow it and uh, you can be saved and you can uh, you can you can find the love of Christ uh, that can live in you and uh, and lead and God direct you in into this world and get you on that narrow gate so that you can know you know that what you're doing is right and that you know it's the will of God is what you're doing Hey, listen, I do uh, accept, you know, donations, you know, gifts. Uh, you can find that link on my website, uh, finalgate.com. I'd appreciate it. It uh, helps me keep this thing going. And uh, actually, I need some good uh, editing, video editing software. So I'd sure appreciate it. And, uh, and I also do speaking engagements as well. Uh, you can find that on finalgate.com. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.